In Kentucky, the race will go on. Florence Speedway filed suit in a Boone County court, arguing it should be able to open at 50% capacity. Now this suit is the spearhead for statewide change on Governor Bashir's order. In two weeks time, a new hearing will bring every industry into this debate. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle spoke with people involved in the lawsuit about the changes coming and how that's saving one local business. Well, with a judge's ruling, the Florence Speedway once again has the green flag to begin racing and its impact could be felt well beyond the finish line. The track idle for now and the cheer goes up and you hear the race cars engines fire and and here we go. We're off and running. Brad Greer's voice has filled this speedway since 1988. So beginning year 33 for me. You'd know him by the yellow shirt in the infield and his trademark line. Yeah, we've got a problem. Yeah, and that, that kind of really came out in April when I realized we're not going racing. Around turn one, Governor Andy Bashir ordered the track to close in March. Since then, Greer says the Speedway has been trying to get a straightaway answer from the governor's office. And when you get you know, your backs against the wall when the family business is at stake there, uh, you fire back. Their pit stop, attorney Chris Weist. And they were losing their season. They were looking at a bankruptcy filing next week if we didn't win this today. His argument, if a place like the Florence Yall Stadium can be open at 50% capacity, why can't they? We litigated on, wait a minute, you're allowing these activities to occur in other settings that are the exact same. You're not doing it here. It's arbitrary. Around turn two, a Boone County judge agreed and offered a temporary restraining order, allowing the Speedway to get back up and running at 50%. They're getting a boost from the Kentucky Attorney General, now a plaintiff with the Speedway on the lawsuit. The governor's office saying in a statement, the attorney general's position is reckless and threatens the lives of thousands of Kentuckians. For Weist, the next lap in court could bring statewide change. This is two weeks from now. It will be about the entire industries that are represented and frankly, probably more than that. Down the stretch, these guys know what the business of more than 70 years is about. The family, the connection and the racing. They're still on the caution before they can see a checkered flag. Thursday night, here we go. Jake Ryle. Florence Speedway, we'll see you at the track. WCPO 9 News.